This video is to familiarize you with some electrical plant council control fundamentals. Because the video is quite long, I created a time frame index so you can jump to the section of the video that you might like to watch. Before we continue, remember, if you find the material in this video too technical, please watch earlier videos where I cover basic electrical knowledge. Keep in mind that the first 28 videos are best understood if you follow their sequential order. Now, back to our video. As you already know, generators are moved by prime movers. In my case, it is a gas turbine engine that moves at 13,821 RPMs, and it goes through the reduction gear, and that turns out or moves the generator at 1800 RPMs. If you remember the formula for frequency as shown, now we know that the speed of the generator is 1800 and it's a four pole generator, so therefore the frequency it is 60 Hertz. It is possible to provide power to a single grid with two generators, running them in what is called parallel. To parallel two generators, we need to make sure that they run at the same speed and at the same phase angle. To better understand how this works, let's consider a running track. Now let's look at the running track from above and let's assume that it's circular. Let's add our runners. Let's say that our runner is the blue runner. So we could say that both runners could run together at the same speed or that our runner will be faster or slower or that both of them could run at the same speed but not together. Now we're going to use these ideas to represent generators. The blue one will represent what we call a reference generator, and we're gonna be comparing that generator against another generator, which is represented by the red runner. We will use the synchronous scope to compare the speed and synchronization of the two generators. In this first example, you see that the synchronous scope is rotating fast in the clockwise direction. That means that our reference generator is going a lot faster than the other generator. But if the opposite were true, like you see now, that means that our reference generator is moving slower than the other generator. Now consider this case. Both generators are running at the same speed, but they are definitely out of phase. So they are not synchronized. Because of that, the synchronous scope doesn't move, but it is showing us that the generators are out of phase. And finally, this is this example, which illustrates when generators are running in parallel. When generators are run, running in parallel, that means that they are at the same phase and at the same speed. Now let's talk about by what it means to be in phase. As you already know, shipboard power has three phases. Now let's consider the three phases of two different generators. One is moving at 60 Hertz and the other one at 60.1 Hertz. What that means is that the wavelength of the higher frequency will be shorter, as you see now. However, these two different frequencies will have the same point of origin for a very short period of time. And that is what is meant when they say that they are on phase. To make this idea more clear, I will remove phases B and C and I will shift everything to the right as you see. Now that I added an extra cycle to the bottom signal, I will show you how it flows in relationship to the top signal. As you can see, the signals come in phase and out of phase constantly. Keep in mind that the reference generator is generator number one, so therefore we can say that generator number one is slower than generator number two. Keeping that in mind, let's see how these two signals look under the synchronoscope. Electricians deal with power distribution. Power begins on the generator and then it gets distributed via switchboards, then low centers, power panels, fuse boxes, and uh, some other things. But like I said, it begins at the generator and that's what I want to concentrate this video on. This simulator talks about, or, or rather shows three different generators and they provide power what is to what is called a common bus. This common bus is composed, in this particular one, of buses. This is a bus over here that connects this bus, connects this point 
all the way to this point over here and switchboards this inside here this is switchboard this is a switchboard one switchboard two and switchboard three they are conveniently named after their gen associated generator so we got over here this is what is, uh, represents breakers the generator breaker this is the one when it closes it provides a path for this generator to provide power to the switchboard these are what's called bus tie breakers because well they allow the switchboard in this case switchboard one to connect to this bus what's the name of this bus this bus is 1s 2s because it's the bus that connects number one switchboard to number two switchboard the breakers are also labeled according to where uh, they're associated switchboard so this one over here since this one begins at well this is switch for one both of the bus ties they begin with one and since this one connects this uh, switchboard to number three switchboard so therefore it is where it begins one switchboard dash three switchboard because that's what's going to be the end um uh and uh the other side of the bus now and three switch for the story is different because from over here this one this breaker connects three switchboard to one switchboard so that's why it's labeled 3s 1s now notice that this switchboard over here it also provides power to a low center 42. there should be a breaker over here but for simplicity it's not shown same thing over here this this switchboard provide powers to low center 12 31 and 22. Now, in this case, you can clearly see that number one generator, oh, take that back, number two generator is the one that's feeding the entire thing and nobody is helping him. Number one generator happens to be on, but this generator is closed. Now, I cannot just go ahead and close this generator because, oh, this generator breaker, because even though they seem to be running at the same frequency, they are not close enough. This one runs at 60.46 and this one is running at 60. So I'm going to lower this one to make it 60 hertz. But even with that, I won't be able to close the breaker because I need, I need a very precise synchronization. Between the two of them and for that i'm going to use what is called the synchronous code now this simulator it has something called what's called an auto mode which i'm going to go to auto mode for a moment and what that means is that i want to close this breaker i'm sorry if i want to close this breaker all i have to do is just select one of these options and it will allow me to parallel although Something seems to be wrong because when this goes green, I should have these two green over here and it should allow me to close this one, um, rather to uh, select 1S2G and it should close by itself. But there is no fun on that. I'm going to show you the manual, manual way. So to go manual, I had to disable what is the auto mode and just go to manual permissive. Now I'm going to be using this meter to compare the speed of this generator in relationship to the speed of this generator. So, to parallel, I'm going to tell it this synchronous scope to start monitoring the two ends of this side over here. This is my reference generator and this is the one that I'm trying to parallel to. So I'm going to select 1S G. So now that I selected 1S G over here, is comparing the speed of this generator in relationship to the generator speed of this one which happens to be providing power to the entire bus so right now the fact that it's going slow on the slow direction is telling me that this generator is going slower than this generator and if i look at the frequencies that is exactly what's happening so i got two options either i lower this um frequency or I increase this frequency now since this generator is the one that's about to come online, I need this one to go faster than this one so that it takes the load. So, I'm going to lower this one over here, which is the same thing as increasing the speed in this one. So right now, 62, 
pay attention to this guy is moving slower now I'm going to uh, 60 point zero one when I go a little lower and there now at this point on this generator is going faster than this generator and notice that since this is my reference generator the synchronoscope it starts going in the in this direction meaning it's slow uh, it's going slow in the fast direction my reference generator is faster than the generator that I'm gonna parallel to I'm going to increase the frequency a little bit over here so that it goes a little faster now notice I got 0 0.03 hertz of difference and because of that that moves faster what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the frequency over here and what it, that should do is make this synchronoscope go much faster so right now I'm gonna increase it to 6.05 6.06 and notice that this guy this uh, this meter is going definitely faster now because it took me too long to parallel it disabled so I'm gonna have to tell the system once again to engage my meter my meter is engaged now it's moving too fast so I'm gonna lower my frequency over here in number one generator so that way these so in that way I have my incoming generator going faster than the generator that is online so it, so it takes the load but not too fast I think that's fast enough so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be ready to close the generator breaker when I am somewhere between minus 30 degrees to plus 30 degrees I'm gonna choose this point right here and I'm gonna say close oh shoot I it took me too long to do that so I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna see if I can have better luck the next time there I move it I paused the video for a little bit now I'm ready and I command it to close and the generator the breaker close and now both breakers are closed and I'm providing both of, with I'm providing power to the bus with both generators that means that both generators right now they are running in what is called parallel now it's very important that both generators have the governor in normal mode and the voltage regulator in, in normal mode so the voltage regulators they control the voltage that goes to the generator or, or rather the voltage that the generator is producing and the governor provides the fuel for the engine so that it maintains the frequency or the speed at the same um, level always so i always have perfect 60 hertz in both sides now because both generators are going at the same speed because now they are in parallel they're working together therefore the loads are being equal if for some reason the frequency of this generator was to go higher like 6.2 no 6.02 or 6.03 what's going to happen is that this generator is going to take a, a higher load than this generator because as a rule is the generator that goes faster that's the one that takes the load so that's why when we are ready to to take on a load or rather to bring a generator online we need to make sure that that generator goes faster than the generator that is online now i'm going to talk about short power and a few protections actually let me do the protections first first a generator and a motor is not much different so if i were to close this breaker right now what we will do is if this generator will get energized and since it doesn't have its associated turbine on this generator will start rotating because it, act, it will try to act as a motor but what that's going to do is it's going to drive the turbine in a wrong direction and it's going to damage the turbine well luckily there is this deal called the shear pins then there are some pins that connect the generator to the turbine and they are supposed to break in case somebody by mistake closes this breaker when this generator it doesn't have any power flowing out of it additionally if this generator was to start failing because let's say that it's associated governor the governor is the one that provides fuel for the generator if the governor this generator starts to go bad and decides not to provide enough fuel so what that will happen is that this generator will start slowing down 
as soon as it starts slowing down, since this one will be going faster, this generator will take all the load and eventually this generator will start will try to take load in. So to prevent that from happening, there is something called a reverse power relay, which it will trip this breaker to prevent this generator from becoming a load and therefore damaging the turbine or breaking the shear pins. The reverse power relay in all ships that I've been to is always set up to 10% of what the rated value of the generator is. For our case, this is a 2500 kilowatt, so therefore it will open when this generator is only giving out 250 watts. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that, well, this is an indication of voltage. We always want to have voltage uh, within close. Whenever you're gonna parallel, these have to be within 5% of each other, but typically for good engineer practices, we always try to match it as much as we can. And whenever we have a match, understand that as different loads start happening, let's say that somebody adds a fire pump or removes a fire pump, immediately what's gonna happen is that as soon as somebody added the fire pump, it becomes, the load becomes heavier, so the generator will slow down and this voltage will go down. But luckily, the governor is gonna provide more fuel to bring the generator back to speed, and the um, governor is gonna provide more fuel excitation to bring the voltage back up to 445. But that happens so fast that you will not see it. And what I mean by you will not see it is that these values, they seem like they will change, but they are always constantly changing. It's just that the governor is adjusting the frequency constantly to keep it at 60, and the voltage regulator is always adjusting the voltage to keep it at 450. So I'm going to remove the lock from number two generator, and I just simply gonna open my generator breaker, I trip it, and now all the load goes to here, um, now, before it was 1500, 1500, now I got all my 3000 amps over here. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to parallel to short power. I got 450 volts and a short power breaker. So I'm gonna open this. These over here are 10 short power breakers, so I cannot parallel across them. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open this post tie breaker, so I no longer have a ring bus configuration because I opened my, bot, my, my ring. And now I'm going to open this other one over here. So, what do I have? I've got one generator provide power to one, two, and three switchboards via these bus tie breakers, but bus tie breaker 1S, 3S is totally de-energized. Now I can safely close this breaker over here, and this is actually 10 different breakers that when they close, um, they energize the bus. I cannot close it because so so I have to go so I have to go to what is called a manual mode in manual mode okay what you're telling the system is I don't care what the parameters are I want you to close this even though this doesn't look like this it's got to be within five percent well definitely they are not within five percent because this is dead and this is energized and the phase angle definitely is not gonna be there. And also the frequency is not gonna be the same because this is 60 hertz and this is nothing. So I'm just gonna tell it, I don't care, close. How do I do that? Because I was in manual mode. I could go ahead in manual mode and force it to close this one, but that's gonna cause me to destroy my generator because now I'm gonna parallel to short power and that is a vendor, very dangerous to do, especially when they are out of phase. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the synchronous code. But before that, I'm going to go to what is called a droop mode. And drip mode, what I'm gonna tell is my generator, my governor, to provide the same amount of fuel to this. Oh, I gotta adjust my frequency because I'm losing it uh, once I went to droop mode. And, but anyway, when I'm going to droop mode, what I'm telling it, the governor is to provide the same amount of fuel always, no matter what. So that if, the whatever I'm paralleling to, if it decides to take load from the ship, this generator is not gonna provide more because it's only a certain set amount of fuel that I'm gonna be providing to the actual governor. And it's taking forever for me for the uh, for this to go up, so I'm gonna pause the video for a moment. So now that I got it under control, now I'm going to put my voltage regulator 
on Drupe, and pretty much I'm going to disable the ability for it to compensate for any losses in the load. So once I get it to 450, what I'm going to tell the system by putting it in Drupe is that no matter what the load does, the voltage regulator will not change the field excitation. So this will be going up and down based on if somebody adds or removes loads from the system. Now that I got this back into control, so I got my 450 and 60 hertz, I'm going to match it to a short power, which uh, I got it right there. And therefore, I'm going to go ahead and try to close my breaker. But before that, I do need to tell it like, I'm going to parallel across 3S, 1S. So I find 3S, 1S right there. And now I'm comparing, my generator is my reference, and this is short power. So I need to go, since I'm gonna give load, because I want to remove the load from the ship, I want to make sure that this generator goes slower than the one in the pier. And look, now I'm going slower, so. Now, before I close my breaker, I gotta pay attention over here. This is how I know what's the load of short power. Uh, obviously, right now it's zero. Uh, this is the load of the generator, the single generator that I have, and uh, it's 3,000. So I gotta calculate 60%. 60% of uh, 3,000, I don't have a calculator, but I guess I'm gonna say about 1,800. So when I got 1800 over here, I'm gonna go ahead and open my breaker. So I'm gonna close this one, make sure that uh, this one drops down to uh, 1400. I got 18 over here. And then at that point on, I'm gonna open this breaker and then I'll be in short power. So let's do it. Uh, comes over here. I'm gonna select to, uh, to trip, to close. Ah, shoot. There, that one closed. I'm gonna select here to open. And, oh. It's already over there. So I'm gonna trip. And all right. Um, I already did it. So um, I gotta, uh, because I'm in, uh, in group mode, I gotta make sure that I gotta adjust my frequency to lower it. And once I get that, uh, I'm gonna restore that back to normal and normal before I secure my generator. So I'm gonna stop my video. And now that, that I restored back to uh, 450 and 60 hertz, then I went back to normal. Now that I went back to uh, normal in governor, for some reason my frequency just went back up, but that's okay, I can fix it right now. All right, couple things, uh, uh, mistakes that I made. Uh, it was, um, I should have I should have prepped this breaker, uh, rather I should have opened the screen over here, and I should have opened this little screen over here, so I could have just simply go for the close and the trip really easily. So um, anyway, that is uh, something. If it's um, uh, if you got, if you get a chance to use one of these uh, uh, EPSIs, but uh, the point that I wanted to to make it clear is that whenever we parallel onto a short power uh, station, we need to make sure that our governor is not in normal, but is in droop mode, and our voltage regulator is in droop mode. So in that way, we disable both the. So we always have the same amount of fuel going to the governor, no matter if we got too much load or too little load. And the voltage regulator, um, it provides the same amount of excitation, no matter if we got a higher load or a, or a small load, because the generator on the short um, pier, it can have, well, it's providing power to the city. What if, um, what if uh, that generator goes down? Now our generator is gonna try to provide power to the city. Our generator is tiny compared to the short generator. So we don't want our generator to try to match that. So that's why we tell it, hey, you know what? You're getting that set amount of fuel and you're getting that set amount of excitation. And if you need more than that, well, tough life, you're not gonna get it. Now where we are at this, let's do the opposite. Now let's parallel, let's take the load from the short side. So that means this generator is gonna have to go faster than that generator for only a very period of time. So, but we are still gonna use our governor. So uh, I'm gonna go droop mode and I'm gonna go droop mode in there. So now I got this, luckily this didn't change. And all right, now let's do, let's take the load from the short side. So it looks like short side is providing power through the bus, through this bus tie over here, 
and this one is already open so that's that's great because all I had to do is open this one to be able to disconnect from short side and I just need to to parallel across this one over here so this is gonna be providing power to the bus and then I'll open that one so I also will prep that one now that I got that I'm gonna tell the synchronoscope well remember I said that I'm gonna close across one S so I'm gonna choose one S and there it is now I'm looking at my synchronoscope I'm gonna take the load so therefore I want to go faster so I'm gonna go faster the other way and boom I got it over there my voltages they happen to be already within parameters oh shoot I'm going too fast I don't want that so I'm just overshot it this thing over here is a little more sensitive than what I thought okay there so close boom I close now I gotta make sure that my load um, is about at least 1600 so I'm gonna increase my my frequency so that I take more load over here I take at least 16 uh, 60 percent of this so looks like right now I'm at mm, that's only like maybe uh, I'm gonna say 30 percent oh no actually uh, about 50 percent uh, no 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 I cannot do math today I'm getting closer okay oh shoot I'm looking at the wrong place no no wait I'm looking at the right place this thing is not working like it should be but anyway so before this team before before I lose the load I'm gonna go ahead and trip over here and it worked out great so now I gotta just raise my voltage and then after that, I will go into normal. And there, I'm just gonna go into normal. Oh, it's not letting me. All right, so, because I was making the video, I didn't bother to read the procedure, but it turns out that as soon as I would have tripped this one, I should have gone to normal and normal. But by me trying to adjust the frequency on the, um, while I had the droop mode and, and both the governor and the voltage regulator, what it caused is that once I decided to go normal, both my voltage and frequencies, they went really high and that's why I got these high values. So, lesson is always follow your procedure. But things to take away are whenever, whenever you're taking a load, you want your generator to go faster than the generator, the, the generator that you are approaching. If you want to give off load, uh, which you will, only, you will only do it going to short power, is, um, is by, uh, you, will, you will make sure that your generator is going to go slower than the short generator. And every time that we do short to short power, no matter if it's to take power or to give away power, we always make up disable our governor sharing capability by going to droop mode and our voltage regulator sharing capability by also going to droop mode